Hi there ladies, I am um, putting this particular video together for you to talk about foundation application methods. Um, I also wanted to go through again those uh, foundations a little bit more so that we could talk about um, the coverage and, and what they look like on your skin as well as discuss the ways I personally prefer to apply them. So you can see here that I've drawn myself couple of little lines there on my face because I am going to separate um, where I'm applying these different foundation options so that you have a chance to see the difference in between between coverage um, and also the difference in the finishes the textures so go ahead and get started um, I'm gonna start over on this side with the BB flawless I'm gonna do BB flawless down here now BB Flawless is the tinted moisturizer type option. Um, it's really a nice one. Um, it does add a little bit of moisture to your skin. It's creamy like this. Um, and I prefer just to use my fingers to actually apply this um, because it's like a cream, right? It's just like applying a moisturizer. So I probably took just a little bit too much there. But that's okay. I'm just avoiding that line, although our pencils are really, really good for not rubbing off. So there you go. That is the BB cream. Now I have a little bit of a blemish at the bottom here. Um, you'll see that although the coverage is fairly sheer, um, it's not super, super heavy, uh, that found a, that uh, BB cream um, is dark enough to take a little bit of the color away there. Um, however, it is still a little bit red. This is um, really intended for someone with drier skin, so I use this option mostly in the winter because I do get dry patches on my cheeks. Um, however, um, it can be good for someone with normal skin. Someone with oilier skin may not like this option. Once again, going back to the last video. So, um, someone with a lot of blemishes or redness to cover, though, um, may not like this by itself. The next option I want to show you is actually the BB cream. This one here that I already have a little bit left on my hand. Blended with the concealer. So, um, I think I have enough BB cream on my hand already, but I'm going to put a little bit of the organza there. Now, this is an option I like. So, you can see there, just so you see, that's actually probably a little bit too much. Just, there we go. So the BB cream and bisque, and then that is the organza concealer. So I'm going ahead and I'm blending those together. There we go. So I'll show you the difference in coverage. You can see side by side here as I put this above. Now notice my mean, mean dark under eye circles. They are some crazy, I tell you. <laughs> so with the little bit of concealer added, you'll see it is a little bit more coverage and I can just dab that around my eyes, on the side of my nose. There we go. So you can see how that is just a bit more coverage than below. And of course I actually do have a tiny little bump here. It's not very red though, so it's hard to compare to the bottom one. Not as red as the bottom one was. So. <laughs> there we go. So, but you can see that there is a little bit more coverage when I add the concealer there, you can add more or less concealer depending on how much coverage you need. And of course using a light stroke along with my fingers there is what I prefer to use to apply that. Now, there's nothing wrong with using your fingers to apply your foundation. Um, the only issue you're gonna have is if your fingers aren't clean. So let's hope we're all washing our hands, trimming our nails, making sure everything's clean. There's no problems. Um, if you do have um, dirty fingers to apply foundation, obviously that's going to affect the um, your skin, and you might break out, um, you might get rashes, whatnot. So, so there you have it: BB cream versus BB cream and concealer. Now I'm going to move over to the um, other side of my face. Um, let me just see here. Liquid touch. Now. Liquid Touch came out in September, super, super popular stuff. They released a brush to go with it. And whenever you buy liquid foundation, I'm gonna tell you you need this brush and I'm doing you a favor by telling you. Um, I am the first person to say, you know, if you don't need, um, if you if you really don't need a product, I won't sell it to you. Um, but this is really worth the, the investment. It's really quite nice. So again, that liquid concealer, glass bottle, glass vial there, we go ahead and we drop a little bit of uh, foundation on, one, two, three, four, five. That is way too much. I'm just realizing that now because I'm only doing like a tiny, tiny piece of my face. Oops. 
So I just took most of it off. There's like one and a half drops there. <laughs> so now um, with this brush, <clears throat> pardon me, we go ahead and we just buff it on our skin. So I'm doing it up here so you can see how it covers under eye circles and, and such. So like I said, that's actually still a fair bit of foundation for that tiny little area. So I'm gonna use the rest of it up here. So you buff it on like this. One tip that um, one of my other presenters pointed out to me that's really good. If you have facial hair like peach fuzz, make sure you're finishing by stroking downward. So buff it on to begin with, and then at the end stroke downwards because what that's doing is that's actually brushing your peach hair flat so it doesn't fuzz out. <laughs> and it's, it's really a smart piece of advice. So, so there you have it. That shows you the coverage of the liquid foundation. Now, that brush is really nice. The hairs are synthetic. Um, so as opposed to a natural hair brush, this is going to stand the test of time with a liquid product. Um, a natural brush is not going to do that. It's going to break down and, and become ruined when you're using it um, with a liquid product. So that being said, I personally always also recommend that someone who has a lot of dark circles to cover purchases a um, a concealer as well to go with a liquid touch because um, for my under eyes I do need to apply a little bit of concealer. It, it's an awesome on redness and unevenness. Um, however, so I'm going to show you here with my liquid touch concealer, um, this little tiny bit of concealer. This is another application method for foundation. It is the blending bud. Comes with two sizes there in our in our package of it. Um, and a blending bud, you use wet. So I actually have dampened this earlier and squeezed it out really well. And to use this, you can use the little corner to get into crevices like that. And it's really, really helpful. It's my favorite for applying concealer actually lately. So that's how you do it. Now, if you're applying this, use makeup to your whole face using this, you'll use the wider spot and you kind of dab and roll like that. Does that make sense? Maybe easier to see if I do it this way. So you dab it and roll it like that to, to dab the, the makeup on. So good stuff. So the last one I want to show you is one that I usually put over top of my liquid. Um, the Mineral Touch Powder I mentioned yesterday is super, super versatile. We've got a brush here. If I wanted to just put it over top of my liquid, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush. Tap off the excess and just buff it on like this. And it's really, really nice just as a powder over top. The other application method we can go with here is this little sponge that comes with it or a similar sponge. A blending bed works as well. And we would just tap that into the product. See, it's on the sponge there. And you can actually really wear that by itself. So just like so. And you just sort of tap it and then you blend it. So once I've applied it, I'm going to go over it again and I'm just going to really make sure it's blended in well and even on my skin. So there you have it. Those are your options. You can see here on this side of my face, the liquid touch with the powder over top. The liquid touch on its own also dries to a powder finish, so it's a similar effect. And then of course the powder foundation, really nice coverages there, both medium to heavy coverage with the powder. Um, and then over here on this face, we have the BB cream, very, very sheer coverage and the BB cream with the concealer above there as well. That's more of a dewy finish. You can see it's not as powdery. So um, a lot of people who like a powder finish will use that and put a powder over top as well. Um, some people certainly do prefer the dewy look and the BB cream is perfect for that. So this video is a little bit longer than the others. I think I might have to upload it to YouTube. I'm not sure if Facebook will like it, but um, thanks very much for tuning in. And we will be talking tomorrow about um, brows, about blush, about um, concealer a little bit more too. So have a nice day.